It is becoming difficult to improve the image quality of OLED TVs. LG, which supplies the panels to the entire market, has achieved this with small and subtle changes. Year after year, OLED TVs continue to deliver the best image quality of their generation, and the C9 exemplifies LG's efforts to further refine a technology that has little left to offer. Admittedly, the differences in image quality between the new C9 and last year's OLED TVs are minimal, better HDR, more efficient processing, and a few milliseconds lower latency, but still sufficient to give it a slight technical superiority. For most buyers however, these differences will not justify the higher price of the C9 compared to the 2018 model, and this is also our opinion. Indeed, we will continue to recommend the C8 and B8, or even the E7, sold at almost the same price as the C9. In our side-by-side -side comparisons, the C9, C8, and B8, all unsurprisingly outperformed the best LCD TVs, while OLED from major manufacturers remain very close in terms of performance, so the competition is less about pure image quality than functionality. Design There is little evolution in design between the C8 and C9, but this is not necessarily a bad thing. The screen itself is still very thin when viewed in profile, with the typical bulge in the lower part to house the inputs the power supply, the speakers and other components. The back does not change and remains particularly well finished. Nothing to add here, the build is premium as always. At the front, the borders are very thin and there is no silver finish or logo. This is a TV in its most minimalist form. We found the stand more seductive than last year's, with a more premium finish. It is also heavier at the back, presumably to better withstand the risk of tipping forward. Remote Control the remote is also almost the same as last year's. The navigation is always done by pointing the remote control where you want on the screen, Nintendo Wiimote style, and click. In addition, it facilitates the use of virtual keyboards compared to the traditional method. The scroll wheel is also convenient for moving around the apps. As with most major manufacturers, the microphone button activates the voice control, and LG is the first TV manufacturer to integrate Amazon Alexa in addition to Google Assistant. Also. Apple's AirPlay 2 support allows the TV to function as a screen for viewing TV shows, movies, photos, and other web pages from an iPhone, iPad, or Mac. HomeKit will allow you to control the TV using the Apple Home app, or by speaking with Siri, Apple's assistant. In doing so, LG's 2019 OLED range will offer full support for all the main assistants of the market. Web OS Here we find palpable differences with last year's OS. In fact, the new web OS comes with several interesting new features. The row of apps still shows up like a carousel, however this year the tiles are shorter. Why is that? Basically because on top of this row, we will have a second row that will show us content based on the bottom tile. For example, if we select Netflix, without launching the app, we will see a second row above with continue watching, recommendations, etc., without having to access the app directly. Another novelty is the Connect Hub, that includes HDMI. DLNA, AVR, Live TV, and Internet of Things, and is integrated with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Via the hub, we can turn on the washing machine, turn off the bathroom light, or turn on our Nvidia Shield TV, all from the same panel. Good job LG! Image Once again, the C9 OLED panel has the same basic features as in previous years, including brightness output and color gamut, so the main evolution is in image processing. There is a new A9 Gen 2 chip, with a deep learning algorithm, that better adjusts the image to the room lighting, and optimizes the quality of the source media. The system starts by analyzing the displayed content to detect noise and sharpness levels of the image, and then applies a correction in real time. With HDSDR, or 4K HDR sources, the C9 has provided the best picture of the moment. The TV still displays perfect black levels, the best contrast ratio on the market, unmatched uniformity, and excellent viewing angles. As a bonus, the video processing is slightly better than the LG OLED TVs of 2018. On the other hand, the premium LCD screens provide a little more punch in HDR, and are superior in a bright room. On the controversial issue of image retention and burn-in, we have noticed a substantial improvement. The logo brightness adjustment option works really well, creating a gray cloud right where it detects the logo, in addition to significantly lowering the brightness to more than half only for the logo, not the whole image in general. Gaming This is a TV designed for the gamers, thanks to the HDMI 2.1 port, and the possibility of sending the data flow without compressing the chroma. Of course, 
you will need an HDMI 2.1 cable, and a console or PC with that same port, something that unfortunately is not yet on the market. The other big difference is the input lag, the time it takes for the TV to react when we press a button on the remote. The C9 offers an impressive 13.3 milliseconds in game mode. Add to that the ability to vary the refresh rate of the panel, depending on the frame rate, and you have the perfect gaming TV. In HDR games, the tone mapping manages to retain even the most minute detail of the highlights, without lowering the general brightness. Thus, the resulting image is very striking and very dynamic, without appearing washed, or with white blots in the clouds, sun rays, mirror reflections, etc. Verdict All in all, the C9 is an excellent TV that still refines OLED technology, offers the lowest latency on the market, perfect for video games, premium connectivity with HDMI 2.1 and improves image processing. However, the purchase of a C8 or even a B8 is still the most financially attractive option in our opinion, as their image is already sublime.